Yo Storm, welcome back to It's All Eats. Listen, I am smack bang in the middle of Dubai International Airport. Caught a plane from Sydney, one hour way to Portugal. We've got a seven hour stopover. About 40 minutes walk that way, I've got a lounge. I dropped my stuff off there and I thought, let's try to see what food is in the second largest building on earth. The second largest building on earth. Not the second largest airport building, the second largest building in general on the earth. I walked for so long and I thought, I don't know where that's going. I'm starting here before I lose where my lounge is, which is that way. But let's go suss out what food they got in the shops and that. You hear so much about this place, you know what I mean? So let's see, bro. Let's see if their food's up to scratch and how much it costs and this and that. Sports bar. I feel like, I know you're thinking, you walk past something, eat there then. Bro, you know how many millions of places I walk past? I'm gonna eat at like maybe eight of them at the most. Then I'll be dying my next flight. Imagine my stomach on my next flight. It's in six hours. I got an ill chain. All right, quickly, if you want to support the show, you love It's All Eats, we got merch, we got jumpers, we got shirts I showed you, we got orange, we got black, we got white, we got black and white hoodies. Buy something, support the journey, let's ouch. This just here just looks like regular cafe, sausage rolls and coffees. All jokes aside, I need a coffee. I don't want a coffee. So I know I've come up this way. We're going up these escalators. Gate starting with B. Mine's B23 to Lisbon. B23 to Lisbon. All the ones starting with C were behind me and another three Ks down that way. But we're not doing the entire airport, are we, mate? Because that video would go for three hours. Salads here. Listen, their currency here, Doha, I think. I'm gonna have no idea the conversion rate to Australian or to US or to Euros. I don't know. I got a whole bunch of thousands of euros in here, but I think I gotta pay by card. So everywhere I'm just gonna be tapping a card. I'm gonna ask how many Dohas it was, and we'll just have to get the editor to convert them to like Euros or something, alright? Jalapeno and Swiss burger. That's what I want. All right, I got the jalapeno Swiss burger with the fries and a Coke Zero. 115 Doha. Search that up. One US dollar is about four Dohas, all right? One US dollar is about four Dohas. So 115 Dohas, don't embarrass me here, is about, let's just say 30, 30 US dollars, which is about 45 Australian dollars. So the burger, chips, and a drink. It's paid about 45 Australian dollars. It's not cheap. It's not cheap, lad, but it's owed because I hope my maths is correct. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. Whether it's 42 or 47, whatever, but it's 45. I'll kick it straight in the mouth, cuz. Wake up to yourself. Oh, they bring my can. What are you talking about, cuz? It's a little mini can. 45, 47 dollars. You'll chase with the mini can. It's half a can, bro. It is actually half a can. Bro, it's 300 mils. I'm so confused. But I thought normal cans are 300 mils. Aren't normal cans 300 mils? It's like half a can, but it's the same amount. What are you talking about? Imagine they bring me out a tiny little burger and it weighs like one and a half kilos. I'll be like, what's going on here? Is this the restaurant of illusions? All right, brother, they bring it out. Jalapeno spilling, normal whip chase. That's grouse though. Getting a foray, lad. You know what's going on there, all the Tabasco lad. The hanger, the hanger original. That's some melted Swiss cheese, jalapenos, pickle relish. All right, basic bar. Let's, let's hope it's nice, lad. Let's hope it's nice, lad. I'm putting my own Tabasco on there, cuz. What are you talking about? $47, I'll do what I want. I'll use every sauce. I'll use all their sauces, lad. I'm pocketing their sauces too, cuz. What are you talking about? That's, that's actually the bodgiest meat, full bodgiest meat, lad. <laughs> like a full processed patty. I'm not even gonna lie. Jalapenos are alright. But cuz the jalapenos we're talking about. Let's make these chips nice. Tabasco, everything. Mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm gonna just making stuff up now, cuz. I don't know about that. There you go. The Ugo Bay. 
That burger, bodge. You know, like a processed frozen patty, it's sort of like fake meat. That's what it was. This combo is alright. Tabasco, mayonnaise, <laughs> tomato sauce, cuz it's alright. Maybe I'm just starving. Maybe I'm just full hungry. Think so. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just starving. You got a food page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, yeah, maybe I just said I'm um, probably just hungry. I just made that up. I should put mustard on it too. He answered my question when you said frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Meh. All right, I'm going to say spice. We've got another 15 places to eat at. Taking my 100 Doha drink and hooking it. Parabah. That's bodge. It's not a good start. Hey, here it's not called Coke Zero, it's called Coca-Cola. Zero calories, lad. You know when you get burgers at like, the swimming pool? <laughs> a cheeseburger at Canterbury Pools? Ashfield Pools? It was like a tiny bit better than that. Let's get something, oh look at this. DXB, the Daily Dubai street food. Oh, it looks like a little, like a street food, little quarter, little plaza. We're replicating little street stores, looks mad. All right, mad, they got pastas here. Wait a minute, a seafood pasta is 56 Doha. Why was that burger meal 110? So that bodgy burger was double a pasta. I thought if that's 110, all right, the pasta's gonna be 3,000, no, 3,000. I might get one of these, let's see what there is. I'm on an eight hour flight to Lisbon in like six hours, cuz. I don't know if I wanna risk eating airport seafood pastas, cuz, you know what I mean? That's a bit risky. Maybe I'll be on the safe side and just get a bolognese, eh? Can I get the spaghetti seafood, please? <laughs> I'm not gonna get past. I got a long. I got seafood. I got a long flight this start. <laughs> Walk up. Can I get the seafood? What's the point of just getting a bolognese? Relax. Oh, hectic. We're getting a coffee next. And there's Asian over there. Don't know what that is. Aloha. Desserts. All right, my buzzer's pumping, man. Oh, bro, what the heck, lad? It comes in our full little hamisco cars. Wow. Cheese on top. All right, this looks all right, cars. I'm not going to lie. Prawns, muscle. I love how it comes like this. I love how it comes like this. It smells hectic, too. It actually smells mad. It smells heaps seafoody, but at the same time, the sauce has a smell. The cheese has a smell. It doesn't just smell like seafood. That's hot. All right, calamari ring. Mm. Bro, that's yum. That's hectic. The pasta is firm. How do they call it? Al dente to the tooth. It's not soft, it's firm. So you bite it and it's like you're popping through it. Perfect. It has a mad flavor, cuz. Like a carbonara flavor. Ah, it's so hot. <laughs> that was so hot. That left there. That's gonna leave a bubble on the top of my mouth. This is grouse. Bro, heaps of seafood. Look, let's go through it off. This one, fish. You know, I can just see mussels everywhere. Fish, chopped up calamari. Oh, glad. We're talking about cars. I feel like if it wasn't so hot, it would taste even better. You know when things are so hot that they don't taste like anything? <laughs> Or like it tastes like something, but like, you know when it cools down, and then it's like, wow, it's so strong. I'm gonna have to hold back from not eating all of this. I can't get over how perfectly the pasta's cooked. I like firm pasta, bro. Especially when it's spaghetti. Nothing worse than like really cooked spaghetti, you know what I mean? This one's got calamari, two mussels, and like a prawn in it. Uh, no prawn anymore. This is gone. I don't know what to say, brother. This is gone. What did this cost again? 17 bucks? What was that $45, $47 for that Canterbury Pools burger? <laughs> I keep paying out Canterbury Pools. It's not gonna get you, you just, you know, the pool that I see often. But I hope I don't get sick. But I'm polishing nearly this whole thing. Last bite. Because I was hectic. I, I, I want a coffee, but I just burnt my mouth. <laughs> my mouth, I need like to cool it down. It's gonna be a blister, bro. That was hot, bro. Let's keep exploring. 
There's no holding back on the Western materialistic brands, the capitalistic brands here. If you're in any way confused about a clash of cultures, they do not care. Everything is a brand. Everything is a brand. It's 8.15 a.m. and my flight is at like 1.30 p.m. Like uh, one of your standard cafes. Sandwiches, hammer cheese croissants, coffees, stuff like that. There's still alcohol here. Is this real alcohol or not? I didn't think they sold alcohol in Dubai. Maybe I'm just real silly for thinking that. I'm a bit disappointed. Oh, I'm thinking of Saudi Arabia. Wrong country, mate. <laughs> Wrong country. It's a free for all here. <laughs> Big makeup store. I love how every clock here is a, is a Rolex. Every single clock is a Rolex. <laughs> Duty free tobacco bar. Look at the underbays. Oh, the underbizzles. Oh, no way. This. They sell full like um, duty free vapes, lad. Every flavor in the world, lad. You know, that was a thing. Duty free packs of vapes, like they're cigarettes. Buying like 30 packs. All right, this is where I'm a sucker for gadgets, headphones, anything, technology. Rob me, take all my money. I have everything. I full have everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> and like four of everything. Even like gaming PC setups, I've got like five of them. That's almost what I'm filming on now. Almost. That's the, th that's the three. And this is the four, almost. I've got a couple of those in the office too. And this, Mini 3, I've got that one. <clears throat> and the, no, the Mini 3 Pro. No, this one. And, and, and the two. <laughs> Get me out of that store before I end up with another drone. I'm not gonna lie, that store looks hectic. Don't even like those brands. But that store looks mad. It's just all orange. Human psychology, bro. Colors, sounds, and smells. That's how they get you. Bro, wow, look at this. Look at this. This is, this is hectic. Behind me is just some mega watch store. By the way, we're going to Switzerland. I'll be in Switzerland in like a couple weeks from now. Let's go, we'll go to the home of the Swiss watches. We'll go to the home of Petit Philippe. We'll smash and grab on them. No, anyway, jokes aside, um, look at this bro. Oh, look at that. Rollies. They're probably gonna tell me stop filming, but we'll film until we're allowed to, all right? Yeah. If he's like watches, he's about to froth. WCs. These are hectic. 32 grand, 34 grand. Those two in the middle, 48 grand each. Hubla. Hubla. <laughs> Hubla. People froth them watches, cars. I don't know, cars. I don't know, brother. I like these. Where'd all the food go, though? <laughs> I think all the food ended for a bit and it just become all the high market, high ticket stuff. Like everywhere else in the world. But you know what? I'm not gonna get a coffee at Starbucks, relax. Although it would be interesting to see how much a Starbucks coffee costs in Dubai International. But I can just read that off the board, can't I? I don't have to buy one, do I? I can cheat. I can do price reviews without ever spending a dollar, can't I? That's the new rod. Just get around doing price reviews. You, all you have to do is look at stuff and talk about it. 19, 21, 24, 27. All right. Uh, roughly is 20 to 25 Doha for a coffee. So, four US, 450 US, six, seven Australian. That's what you'd expect. Same at Sydney Airport, isn't it? I'm getting a coffee at this one. Oh, they got a Zata Manoush. I'm getting a Manoush. <laughs> I'm getting a Zata Manoush. I'll get one of them and a coffee, see how that goes. Can I get a 
small long black. You got an Americano? Yeah, we have only one size. Yeah, Americano. Can I get Americano? No, no, no. Like yeah, medium. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, Zata Manush. Thank you. That's all. It was a uh, 41 Doha. That, that time it made me convert when I tapped it and I pressed Australian and it came up exactly Australian what it would cost, 1875. And I forgot long blacks here are not called long blacks. From now on, I'm calling them Americanos. But an Americano, medium Americano, and uh, Zata Manush, 20 bucks, lad. Actually, they had some interesting stuff here, cuz. Egg and turkey pide right there. I think that looks alright. Chicken tikka pide, falafel pita pocket. Cuz I should have got something else. I am getting something else. They had interesting stuff here. <laughs> All I got was a zata manush. I'm getting something else too. I'm gonna get the egg and turkey pide. I didn't know they had that stuff. Monski <laughs> lad. You know what? Shut off the back and tell it's heaps thin. I love that. I like thin manushas. Put them both in there together to cool down. So, oh, what the heck? It's like hard, bro. <laughs> what the hell? It feels like plastic, bro. What the heck? Bro, what? Man, is that normal? Bro, it's like toffee. We'll just leave that there. <laughs> it was like toffee. That was weird. The manus is alright. Thin, hot, crispy. Tastes fresh, surprisingly. The zata has a mad tang to it, like there's enough on there. You know, it's got that sour, sourness. You know, it doesn't have the sourness, it's the boo lad. Mum, that's good. Take it. It's like 34 degrees today outside. Obviously in here it's air conditioned, but it's getting hotter now. It's 8.37 in the morning. Way hotter than an hour ago. Let's see this pide. Egg and turkey pide. I don't know, cuz. Never heard of that combo before, cuz. The turkey underneath. Look at that. The turkey's underneath. What are you talking about, cuz? No. It's cold inside, but it tastes alright. It needed to be heated up more, it needed to be heated up longer. But it's fresh, it feels soft. But I said the bread's hot, the egg's hot, and then the turkey inside's cold. But the zata, well, mm. All right, the manushi is good. This, uh, if you're gonna have a pre-made and it's so dense, you need to figure out a proper method of reheating. You can't have a cold in the middle. We'll work with the Americano. $10 Americano. Nah, I don't know how much it costs. I think that, what do you mean? It was this and the Zata was like 20 bucks, $19. This is just average amount of $9 each, true? Ooh, that coffee smells like a spicy meatball, cuz. <laughs> too hot, but I'll sip it soon. Actually, let me see if it's too hot. I already got one bubble in my mouth. Let's add another on the other side. Yeah, we're going this side. Whoa. No, no, it's not too hot. It's nice. It's bitter. That's nice. Wow. It actually started mad bitter and then had the gun aftertaste, lad. Nice, rich aftertaste. Nintendo Switches, Xbox Series X's, PS5 VR. Brother, they got it all, cuz. Flemington Market's in the middle. What are you talking about, cuz? Oh, McDonald's. <laughs> not because I fucking care about McDonald's or love it. But I just find McDonald's overseas interesting, true? I just find it interesting. I just want to know how, how, how much do you differ? You can tell how two cultures differ by their McDonald's menu. Plus how their burger base. Spicy crunchy beef. Spicy McChicken. Well, that's new. Spicy crunchy beef. That's interesting, cut. That's interesting. Peace. A little kid under me screaming. <laughs> Green chicken spicy. Green chicken. They're all the same. Mac Arabia chicken. Look what else they got? They're all the same. Mac Royal. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting the spicy Mac beef 
in the Mac Arabia chicken. That's what I'm getting. What? You can add jalapenos? Get out of here, cuz. Yes. Oh, there's jalapenos on it. Oh, no way. There's already jalapenos on it. All right. No, no, no. I'm excited. Lemon iced tea. What's going on with this McDonald's cars? I'm moving to the boiler. We're getting the lemon iced tea. Let's orange cars. Complete order. 66 euros. Bro, what happened? An error occurred. Come on, cars. Retry. Okay, an Aussie. 30 bucks. Aussie. Let's go wait for this exotic McDonald's order. Hi. Yeah. There you are. Photos in the exotic McDonald's. You don't understand how jet I am for this, I swear. <laughs> the Mac Arabia and the spicy Mac Triple Beef. I keep looking back at my bag over there. Getting ready to fly kick. Please give me an excuse to fly kick you. That's so Oh, yeah. okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Iced tea at McDonald's. Wow, cuz. That should be a standard. I might rock up the Macca's more if they had iced teas. Word. Look how this comes. <laughs> it comes like. You know how the apple pie comes? You know, you get the apple pie. It comes like a massive apple pie. Look at it. Oh, wow, cuz. What is that? Look. Like a pita bread, two chicken patties, lettuce. I'm not gonna lie, it looks full bodgy. <laughs> Does that look bodgy or what? Come on. Looks like a like a two two bodgy chicken patties. What do I expect? I got verbal because they gave it a fancy name, the Macarabia. Let's try it. Let me eat it. Cause that's alright. It's like a pepper mayo. I don't know what's I don't know what's Arabian about it, but <laughs> maybe the bread and because it's in Dubai, that's what it is. <laughs> Mm. I'm more interested in this, cuz. What do you mean? This. This is the one that I'm jade for. That makes spicy Mac Mac Daddy. Look at that. A juicy jalapeno hanging down the side, cuz. And it's a real jalapeno. It's a real one. You know, Maccas, they shit themselves to put stuff like this. The last time they gave jalapenos to us in Australia, there was some weird, like, deep fried, whisked, in, you know, imitation jalapeno. Oh, oh, that's a juicy real jalapeno, cuz. Oh, lad, look at you. Wow, fried onion, jalapenos, cheese, burger patty, let's ouch, cuz. The jalapenos are real, cuz. There's fried onions on it, we're off to a good start, lad. What are you talking about, cuz? Let's see how this goes. No! That, that is the best Matters burger I've ever had. Wow. Wow. Cuz, even the sauce. But that orange sauce, that's not Big Mac sauce. That's hectic. Look at Zesty, spicy sauce. That's like a habanero spicy, cheesy sauce. Mm. Fried onions, habanero like cheesy, spicy sauce. Fresh jalapenos. Lettuce, tomato, the beef patty. Well, wow. oh, that is so nice. What are you talking about? Why is this the best thing I've eaten today? I don't want to do that. I don't want to go to Macca's and say it's the best thing that I've eaten. It, but it is. Sorry. I'm not even hungry and I'm still polishing it. What are you talking about, cuz? Who's going to lie about that? Not me, no way, cuz. That's the full Mac. That was hectic. Wow, it's just dripping jalapenos too everywhere. Oh, I gotta go up to the lounge that I booked and just like smash coffees and smash the toilet before I get on this plane. Oh, we still got these cars. What are you talking about, bro? We still got the thing, lad. That was hectic. The Mac Arabia, don't worry about that, is my receipt here. I wanna know the official name of this thing that I just ate, bro. That is the best, best McDonald's burger I've ever eaten. Spicy, crunchy beef. Bring that back home, mate.
bring that back to Australia, what he's doing. Imagine their lemon ice tea's hectic too. Oh, imagine you could just go Macca's and get that burger and a lemon ice tea. That's not even McDonald's, what are you talking about, cuz? Hoping it was that colour, hoping it wasn't some, some fancy. Just what you expect, you know what I mean? Bro, that is so nice. Bro, that's just legitimately a Lipton. You know when you get lemon Lipton iced tea? Remember those Liptons? Wait, is that even a thing anymore? Old Liptons, lad. Lipton iced tea. I'm getting sidetracked. Tastes like a lemon Lipton iced tea. That's gone. That is so nice, bro. Oh, that saved the day, that stuff. Well, let's get out of here. Let's get out of lad. Hard Rock Cafe. I'm not even gonna lie, cuz. I can't even eat anymore. How am I gonna finish it off? Oh, wait, actually, if I see something desserty, I'm getting that. If I see something desserty, I'm getting that. And there we are, a Nutella bar. Right as I called for it. Nutella crepes, waffles, pancake. Crepe with Nutella, waffle with Nutella, or pancake with Nutella? Which one is it? Crepe. Only because the other ones are heavy. Crepe's lighter. Crepe. 27. Doha. That's actually cheap. Nutella crepe. What's that? Five bucks. Yum. Let's go. Can I get a Nutella crepe, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Can I add berries? Add berries? Add banana. Actually, I add banana, yeah. Yeah, yeah banana, please. Alright, so you can add things. I didn't know that. He asked me, do you want to add anything? I said, yeah. Um, he said strawberries, berries, bananas. I thought Nutella, crepe, chocolate, banana goes nice with it. So we added bananas and it took it up to 34 Doha from 20 whatever. This is the last thing I'm eating. What is that? Game space? But it's a big... It's like a big internet gaming place. Alright, I've eaten too much. I'm dying. I've eaten too much. Coffee's gone cold because I got so distracted. Aww. Yum! Baba, it's Nutella. Of course it's yum. Nutella anything is yum, cuz. Nutella anything is yum. True, what was it gonna taste like? That's hectic. There's no way I'm punishing at all. You think I'm polish at all? Baba. Let's have a DM here. Yeah? I think I stuffed up. In an attempt to eat lots of things for you, I think the next hours, I'm off eight hours from here, eight and a half hours from here, the flight to um, Portugal, to Lisbon. And then the next day I drive to Porto, because really Porto is the destination. It's the first destination of many in Europe that we're going to, but when I go to Porto, but you gotta stop in Lisbon, because they only fly to Lisbon. I think this next flight, I'm in for some trouble. Unless I can smash this coffee. Let's go smash the coffee. No more food, let's have a, have a look around. Look at this place. Hectic. Look, he's doing VR in there, cousin. Oh, hectic. Well. They're playing, one kid's doing VR, one lad's playing, they're playing FIFA on the PlayStation. Hectic. No. Full proper PC gaming setups in the middle. Look at that. That's hectic. Tell me that's not hectic. Bro, I'm coming back there. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm going back there, cuz. Let me see if they've got Warzone 2. FIFA, Tekken, Gran Turismo, Fortnite. Maybe on the PCs they do. Actually, I can't even play Warzone on a controller. I hate playing shooting games on a controller. So I might come back. Um, Go up here, have a shower, go back and um, jump on one of the PCs, see if they got Warzone. This airport's hectic. Mind you, this is like one third of the airport. When we started, I started at C and um, that was just the beginning. I didn't want to walk deep into C. I looked down the thing and I could see it looked like a kilometer. I thought, no, 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 I'm going to get lost, all right? I'm going to lose all my stuff. We stepped the whole C. We've pretty much only done B. All the gates are start with B. So I don't know where A is. Probably up that way behind us. Bro, this place is dope, bro. This is my lounge. That's where I got my stuff up there. Oh, See my missus and my sister up here somewhere asleep. 
dead asleep, probably laying on the floor somewhere. <laughs> hey, how are you, brother? Go on, go on, go on. Where'd you get from Piccolo from? Oh, bro, you know how far down we've down here, I've got it. Nah, I've got like two kilometres down there somewhere. Bro, I've been walking with her for ages. There they are, there. Playing games. What are you doing? <laughs> I <laughs> scared them. They're playing games. I thought they'd be asleep. Anyway, this is the lounge that you wait at when you have a long stopover in, in the airport. It's because our stopover was like seven, eight hours. So we booked this. You have to kick back. Or you can eat food behind you, a buffet. They got showers up here, sort of like bed, cozy lounges, whatever. Costs like $500 or something for eight hours. But anyway, it is what it is. And this is that. And anyway, I'm. That's me walking through the Boy International having feeds and sussing the shops. I'm having a shower. I'm hitting the toilet before the next flight and later I'll see you in Portugal.